Hi there everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at predicting the peaks that we would see on the hydrogen NMR spectrum of this molecule which is ethylethanoate. Esters are incredibly popular in the OCR exams for your big spectroscopy questions, so it's incredibly important that you include these as part of your general revision. So we're going to be looking here at how many peaks I expect to see on the hydrogen NMR spectrum. I'm going to be looking at what the ratio is like between those peaks. And then finally, we'll be looking at that all important splitting pattern and deciphering how many sub peaks we expect the individual peaks that we have to be split into. So let's get started and take a look through this molecule of ethyl ethanoate. So my molecule here is going to have three distinctive peaks. And the reason for that is because I can identify three different hydrogen environments. I'm going to be optimistic here and try and use three different colour pens for this, but let's see how this goes. So I'm definitely going to get a hydrogen environment here for this CH3. Now, lots of people might look at this CH3 and think, well, are they not the same as each other? Absolutely not. They are both CH3s, but they are in completely different environments. So we count them as separate peaks. So I'm going to get a different peak for this one over here. Finally, I'm going to get one more peak for the hydrogen environment that we can see here, which is a CH2. If I was to actually look at the carbon-13 NMR spectrum for this molecule of ethylethanoate, I would get four peaks there. The hydrogen NMR spectrum only has three. So there's a little bit of a difference there already. And of course, we know the hydrogen NMR, which is the whole point of this video, is going to have the splitting pattern. So what about the ratios? Well, let's give these letters so we can talk about these in more detail. Let's say we're looking at peaks A, B and C just here. What's the ratio going to be like between these peaks? Well, we look at the number of hydrogens that are within each environment. And so at A level, we would say that our peaks here are going to be in a three, because there are three hydrogens in that CH3 group, to two, because we've got this CH2. And then finally, for this final one here, we're going to have another three again. So we expect to see our peaks in a three to two to three ratio. The splitting pattern. This is the bit that people struggle with the most, and it's incredibly important, as I said before, to make sure you can do this for esters. So let's take a look. We'll start off with environment A over here on the left-hand side. Now for environment A, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the next carbon up, and we're gonna see how many hydrogens are on that carbon. Then following the N plus one rule, we'll know how many sub-peaks to expect our peak for environment A is gonna get split into. Now, when we get to that carbon, sad times, there aren't any hydrogens there. So the N value for this environment is going to be zero, but that's okay because the N plus one rule still gives us something to work with. So environment A would be a singlet. So it would just be a single spike. Moving over to environment B, I'm gonna get rid of the pink pen now. For environment B here, we're gonna go to either out direction, just here. Don't think that's a sentence, but never mind. And we're going to go out and look at how many immediate hydrogens there are on those next carbons up, with an obvious issue here of this being an oxygen, not a carbon. We need to see the oxygen as like a big bouncy ball. And what it's going to do is send us back the other way. We're definitely not going to be looking at any hydrogens here bonded to or further past that oxygen. That's not something we consider at A-level. Now, moving in this direction down here, Good luck. We've got one, two, three hydrogens in this environment. So what that means is the N value for environment B is going to be three. So N plus one is going to be four. And so the splitting pattern for the peak we expect to get for environment B here is going to be a quartet. Now, moving over here into environment C, get rid of the green pen as well. We're going to go out to the next carbon up. And we're looking for any hydrogens that are on that immediate carbon atom. So we're just going here. We're not going all the way down the chain. We're just going there. And we can see, of course, we've got one, two hydrogens just there. And so our N value for environment C is going to be two. So N plus one is three, meaning that the peak we're getting, we've already said there's going to be one, for environment C is going to be a triplet. Hopefully that takes you through an example of an ester that you can use when you're stuck in the exam or as part of your general revision beforehand. Don't forget to check out the other spectroscopy videos on my channel and I'd really, really appreciate it if you could give this video a like before you go because it helps support my channel. And until next time, everybody, happy revising.